It's the first day of meteorological winter and there's plenty of wintry weather to talk about. First of all, a widespread frost up and down the country, some freezing fog patches, some icy patches as well in the south of England, for example, where we saw the rain, sleet and snow on Thursday. Some icy patches also for Northern Ireland, eastern parts and northern parts of the UK, where we continue to see a feed of rain, sleet and snow showers. But increasingly, the showers will be across the north of Scotland, western Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland through the day, perhaps the odd one clipping West Wales. These are mixture of rain, sleet, hail and snow with the snow mainly over hills. Fewer showers in the far south because of the low pressure that we saw on Thursday having pulled away has cleared to clear skies and the odd freezing fog patch across some central parts and also some central parts of Scotland could persist into the afternoon staying very cold where that happens. Otherwise, plenty of, well, dry, bright weather on this first day of December. Temperatures only making it up to two to four Celsius generally, and where we see any persistent freezing fog, where we see snow-covered hills, for example, those temperatures no, not going above zero degrees. Light winds, though, and where we've got some sunshine, a pleasant, albeit cold, winter's day. Then into the evening, we'll see those temperatures fall away quite quickly once again. Another area of low cloud develops across parts of the Midlands, southern and southeastern England, and some freezing fog patches once again in places, especially East Wales, parts of the Midlands up into the southern part of northern England, one or two for central and southwest Scotland as well. We'll see a feed of showers into the far west of the UK, the odd one clipping Kent as well, and East Anglia. These showers, again, a mix of rain and sleet with hill snow in places, but mostly they'll be restricted to coast. However, where we see those showers, of course, always a chance of some icy patches first thing this weekend because it's going to be another widespread frosty one with temperatures in urban areas, minus two to minus four Celsius in the countryside, even lower than that, below minus five Celsius in places. And it's going to be a slow start as those temperatures only gradually pick up on Saturday morning, especially once again where we've got some low cloud and some freezing fog. But generally light winds and uh, some sunshine out there on Saturday, so plenty of dry and bright weather. We've got low pressure over the far north of the uh, UK, a very slack area of low pressure, but this area of low pressure is going to start to influence things on Saturday and more especially into Sunday, bringing a return to showers and some longer spells of rain by the end of the weekend and a return to milder air in some places. But we keep the cold conditions certainly throughout much of Saturday and plenty of dry and bright weather for the north and the east whilst a feed of cloud and some showers pushes into the west as the day progresses. The winds now coming from the southwest mean that it will be less cold in the far southwest, but as you can see, one to three Celsius elsewhere below freezing, again where we've got some persistent freezing fog and where we've got some snow cover. Then that feed of showers increasingly turns to longer spells of rain. By the end of the weekend, the milder air develops across southern parts. It stays cold and frosty in the north. Bye-bye.